Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of Night Prayer Compline on Friday the 8th of October 2021. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for the Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our Curate, uh, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 113, starting at the first verse, is Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before. Such knowledge you and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. For you yourself created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. This day by day they were fashioned when as yet there were none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory, May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our short scripture reading is from the first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation, salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hide me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel canticle this evening is the Nunc Dimittis Song of Semina. The refrain, Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious Lord, we come to you in the full knowledge that you have sent us this creation and that we have damaged it utterly. We pray that you will guide our leaders and ourselves to make repair the damage that we have done. We pray for the future generations that their inheritance may not be marred by our bad keeping. And we pray especially tonight for those who are attending the deanery service tomorrow evening in St Paul's where confirmations will be taken. We pray especially for our own Melissa. We rejoice that she has made the decision to come into the Church of England and we know from her character and her ability that she will help us to make the community a better one. And finally, we pray in our hearts, O Lord, for those for whom we love, and for whom we care, and for whom we are worried about. Our collect, almighty and everlasting God, Increase in us the gift of faith that forsaking what, is, what lies behind and reaching out to what is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace.
Amen. Thank you for joining us for this service of Night Prayer and Compliment to close the week. Have a wonderful weekend and look forward to the services in the benefits on Sunday and the rector and our curate will be with you on Monday at nine o'clock for morning prayer. Bye for now.